Hello again. Welcome. So today we are just going to hop right into it, I think. Not going to do any uh, important business or anything like that. I hope your day is going well. Mine is so far. Today we have some vanilla chai tea with pumpkin spice syrup in it. Uh, don't sleep on pumpkin spice syrup. I am, it tastes really, really good. I, I like it in tea. And so far, I've tried it in coffee, too, and it's very delicious. If you like to get that, like, chicory coffee that's from Café du Monde, I'm combining that with pumpkin spice syrup is a, a pretty awesome combo. I also have today a bowl of cake. They're little, I think they're madeleines, I think is what they're called. Anyway, they taste like cake. They're really good. And, uh... Trying those with some maple syrup is a, a pretty good move. Anyway, let's get back to what we were doing. We had fleshed out our second build a little bit. We'd put hamburger aside. Over yesterday evening, I was working out some different things to do with both of these. So we're going to make a few little adjustments, spend a little bit of our money, and then we're just going to like power through missions and see... Uh, how close we can get to the end here. Hopefully we will, we'll have this done by either tomorrow or the day after, I think. Um, there is a second disc with a bunch of bonus missions on it that are remakes of old missions from Armored Core 1 and its two expansion packs. So once we get to a mission, I am... Um, I believe it's called Stop Weapon Activation. That's the last mission of the game. So we will move away for a second and do a little bit of disc two, and then we'll come back and finish the game. But first, let's get back to the garage where the real game is. Let's take a look and see how much money we got. Okay, we're past a million. We can do whatever we want. So I'm going to buy another generator, and we're going to customize or tune this generator to be nothing but, I believe, EN output and maybe a little bit of weight. We're also going to buy... Let's see, we might already have it. Yeah, we do. Um, we're also going to make some changes to Hamburger and kind of bring him up to speed. Um, I think we're going to stick with dual rifles with him because I really like that setup. And then we're going to kind of incrementally improve a few different parts uh, where we can. We will get you. What that missile launcher does, it fires seven missiles at once. It's because they're micro-missiles. They don't do a lot of damage, but when you're firing seven at once, plus your relation missiles, there's really not much in the game that can totally cope with that. I also want to see if those revolvers have opened up for us. I don't remember if those are a shop item or if you have to do stuff to get them. But if we can get dual revolvers, I'd, I'd be happy to do that. If we can't do dual revolvers, we can always try dual shotguns. Ah, okay, I don't think we have them. That's okay. Well, we'll get it eventually. Take a look at left arm weapons real quick. Okay, yeah, same there. Whatever, okay. Well, we'll stick with what we got. It works well enough. So let's install our new generator real quick. I think I also realized I had forgotten um, to install the radiator in Hamburger. So we should do that and, and make him a little better. How much weight was that? Okay, we need an additional 41 pounds, or uh, 41 whatevers. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll put the rest in EN output. Oh, good. You're good. Go back to hamburger. Put his radiator in. I 
think the radiator might be too heavy. Yeah, it is. That's okay. We're going to change up his missile launcher too. We'll see how the weight distribution is affected here. I want him to do the little micro missiles. That will be about 200 over, so we should be able... Yeah, we can just ditch our radar and just go without. So we're kind of doing the same thing with both of these builds. They have a missile launcher that's really robust and then uh, a couple of armed weapons that can be, uh, I guess, precise in Hamburger's case and overwhelming in Chirico's case. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's a pair of legs I want too. I'll be honest with you, my primary motivation for these legs is uh, just wanting to look cool. But I forgot they actually increase our weight limit a little bit, so we might be able to get our radar back. Let's tune you. Actually, I think we are good enough on cooling. Let's do half and half. You okay over there? Hey! You good? He's good. Okay, so we've got that tuned. Let's see if we can do the radar. We might actually just go for the that other missile extension though, because it's got more ammo. Yep, it does. Let's do that. And then, yeah, again, we're going rule of cool here. We're kind of getting to the end stretch, so let's look nice and do badass stuff. Cool. Test him out real quick, just to see. And then I promise we'll, we'll just do missions and we'll see how many we can do before our time's up. That generator we bought is going to have some trade-offs. It has almost no red zone to speak of, so we are going to have to be careful about hitting the limit of our energy, but energy is going to replenish so well that in general I, I should be able to catch it just kind of out of the corner of my eye when it's starting to get a little low, and we only need to do, I think it's about three or four bunny hops, and we can get like a significant portion of it back. Um, that's a good way to think about it, too. Um, if you want to look at it, uh, instead of just looking at like the numbers of it, um, think about it in terms of like, okay, you're in the test area, you drain your energy down almost to the limit, or let's say down to the red zone, and then just do some bunny hops and see how many bunny hops does it take before you're full of energy again. If you can do that and land on kind of a, an average number there, then you can uh, better anticipate when you are about to be out while you're in combat. I, that, that little tactic, I guess, helped me figure out kind of what felt good to me and what sat well with me. Let's see what kind of missions we got. So we can eliminate the reserve force, or we can invade a warehouse. Let's invade a warehouse. If I remember right, this one's kind of similar to that mission we did where we had to blow up all those boxes. Um, we don't have to blow up the boxes this time. Um, we just need to go after the little robots and then the MTs with the little pulse pistol thingy there. Someone is rolling around on the floor. Alright. Get to it. It is kind of silly being in such a cramped space and having these little things just like trying to pick you off between these boxes. But we're well enough armored. We've got good enough firepower that just they're not really going to put up much of a, or they're not going to be much of a threat, I guess I should say. Shit. 
that is a risk you take with the little grenade rifle. Um, the same button that fires that weapon also opens doors and stuff. So if you're not careful, you can just blast the door and hurt yourself a little bit. I have definitely made that mistake at a time when I really shouldn't. Let's just unload on you. And we're good! We did it! Hopefully, I should be able to sit back in my chair and you still hear what the hell I'm saying. We can move you around a little bit. Okay, cool. We didn't get paid a lot for that. It was only like 19000 but we're not in a position to have to worry about money, so fuck it. Okay. And the remaining mission's gonna be that one in the desert. Eliminate the reserve force. Uh, this one, we're just going out into the desert and we're gonna blow up a bunch of tanks. And that, that's all that this is. I believe in the story of the game at this point, like, Navis has collapsed and the other companies are moving in to, like, take their stuff. So a lot of these missions are, like, mopping up reserve forces and, uh, clearing out, like, old areas of, of who remains from these companies. These are a little bit of a rare enemy, too. I think they only show up in these desert levels, or maybe in the... I think one of them with a canyon? There's one desert mission in particular that can be way difficult, because it can change depending on what other shit you've done. Where you have to go up against these, but there are these pillars that are doing ECM interference. So like you can barely lock on to anything and you need to manually aim at those pillars in order to take them out. And depending on what you've done thus far, an AC might be pursuing you while you do this, which is just some horse shit because you can't lock on to him. And of course he's gonna pursue you and firing all of his weapons at you. And it's just ridiculous. If you know what you're doing, you can run in, blow up the pillars real quick, and then take everything out and be done. In fact, I think the first time I did that, the AC didn't show up. Like, he just wasn't in the mission. So, it actually ended up being pretty easy because it was just the tanks. But the last time I played on my Steam Deck, an AC showed up. I was like, I don't know what determined this, but it was fun to do, too. But I'd really like to know why it did that. There was another one, too. If you remember the mission where we jumped into the military base and we had to destroy those dudes that were uh, laid up on trucks, I tried that mission on my Steam Deck the other day, and in, like, the one time I've never seen it before, um, a specific AC showed up. I, I believe the pilot's name is Jacko. Um, and, and I didn't expect it at all, so I actually lost. But it was like, I don't even know what you do to make that happen. And I didn't know that they could be different like that. I just never noticed. So there is some stuff going on in Nexus that even though I've played tons of this, I, I'm not aware of how it works. Okay. So, our two missions here, we can do another desert mission, um, or we can go into Navis's mine and destroy the power systems. Um, let's do this one. I think it's more fun. We'll have to use our night vision a bit, but we're gonna go just straight into the mine. We've been here before, but we're gonna go underground, and we're gonna blow up two little power stations and then get the hell back out. So, 
it kind of tricks you in the beginning. There's going to be a bunch of little floaty dudes everywhere, but we don't need to fight them at all. We just need to go find the entrance to the mine, because all the doors are locked, and just run in and get them. Can't tell if, if the camera's facing a bad angle or not. Okay, let's go. I've been trying to record this in such a way that I can just sit down, do it, and mostly be done unless I want to do something a little more creative with it. So I can't actually see what my camera is outputting right now. So here's to hoping! So again, we don't actually have to destroy the enemies here. That's not the requirement. But I am gonna do it because these little dudes are kinda dangerous. Oh shit, we ran out of energy. Damn. Something up there? Not anymore. We got one of the power systems run up here. And the moment we destroy the second one, we can just run back out and we'll be done. They are going to call some reinforcements, but it shouldn't really matter a whole lot. Also, if you notice on the left, uh, look how tiny that red zone is. <laughs> Basically, if we ever hear the little alert noise for high heat, we need to cut our booster immediately, no matter what's happening. We also need to be careful, because if we overheat while we're low on energy, it'll be much more possible for us to, like, completely drain and have to charge back up. It won't take much to send us over the edge there. You can see, like, for a mid-weight, this build goes pretty fast, and we can be very agile and mobile with it. We're done! A little shit. About 130,000 for that one. We, we have a million, so it kind of doesn't matter, but it's still nice to get paid. Let's see what we got. So we can do an arena match against Bullet Life. We can do Defend Missile Outpost, which, let's look at that one real quick. Ah, okay. This one's like, it's just a marathon. We have to just destroy a bunch of enemies. We have to destroy, we will get paid more if we can just blow up more stuff. We'll look at the last one, but I like this one, so we might come back to it. Hey, and support OAE Invasion. I happen to know this mission is gonna persist after we do the other one, so let's do the other one. So again, for this one, we're just jumping right into this military base. There's going to be a few little tiny robots that shoot like grenade rounds at us. We just need to blow those up and then blow up a bunch of buildings. And there are going to be a bunch of planes flying around too. It's like I say, just sort of a marathon of destruction. So let's go blow shit up. Ooh, the Kisaragi machine is back. These things aren't too much of a threat. They have very low AP. The main thing is that they can dodge around really fast. And if you have to fight more than one, it can be genuinely kind of difficult. Let's see where he's at. There he is. They also have, like, no missile defense. So... Outside of them dodging stuff, you should be able to take them down actually with like only, yeah, there you go, two volleys. So now they're gonna send planes after us. Oh, wait, no, no, it's more ACs. Yes! We have to kill three of them now. Oh, 
I always love it when these games step it up like that. Like, okay, you fought one, now fight three. They got us. Let's see where he's at. Oh, he's over behind us a little bit. There you are. Let's see if we can just run up on him and get him. Okay, cool. We did it. So I actually got confused though. This is a different mission. There is another mission where we will jump into this military base and the goal is to blow up little robots and then there's a fleet of planes that come after you. And, and I don't believe the Kisaragi units are there at all. We'll see. We'll see if we get to it or maybe I did something and it changed what happened. All right, so the invasion is still there. Let's see what this other one is. Ambush Crest HQ Force. I remember right, this one's kind of hard. Yes, okay. We are probably going to lose this one, but I'll try it anyway. The goal here is first we're going to be fighting two ACs at once. Neither of them are particularly good, but they do have good weapons, and together they can deal a lot of damage. The issue in this mission is that when we blow up both of them, a third is going to show up. He's a tank build, if I remember right. Very high defense, lots of good weapons, and he's starting fresh, whereas we've used some of our ammo and likely will have been hit a bit when he shows up. Let's see. If we can do it, that would be really cool. If we can just get to the third guy, I'll be happy. And I think that invasion mission will persist even after this. So then we'll go and do that. So the dude, if I remember right, the first guy that it showed tends to be the weaker one. He'll be up on the cliff a little bit, and he doesn't maneuver around a whole lot. The other guy has a heavy hitting weapon, and it'll stay kind of in the lower portion of the cliff. So they're gonna come at us. Move over. We just go full bore on the first guy, hopefully being as efficient with our ammo as we can be. That's him. Where's the other one? Damn. Now that little laser gun, he's pretty good with it. But you see, neither of them can maneuver very well. So the they're really more here to stress your ammo count a little bit. Let's see if we can... Yeah, here we go. The real fight. And this guy, at least for me, legit, he's tough. Like, he can hit hard. He has high defense. He might get us. Plus, we're doing this at basically half health, which... I, uh, thanks, FromSoft. You see, he's got missile countermeasures. He can maneuver pretty good for a tank build. He's got good weapons. And he's got enough countermeasures that, like, even our big volley is getting, like, distracted. We might be able to get him from up top here if we just stay mobile and always keep distance. You really just don't want to get close to him. Because the thing about tank builds, like, don't be fooled. Um, they might seem really slow and kind of shitty at maneuvering, but they can do some pretty slick shit up close. And plenty of the enemy AIs are, like, competent at doing it. Come on, you little bastard. 
You see, though, that escalated fast, didn't it? We did it! We got him! Just barely! Good job, Chirico! Yeah, that's really good. The worst part? That mission? It paid us 22,000. Some horse shit, right? Okay, and so destroy Kisaragi facility. That's the invasion mission again. And still an arena match. So, I think we're gonna do destroy the facility. Let's save our game first. And since we're going into a Kisaragi spot, if you remember, they're always the folks who are tied up with those little uh, flea dudes. And they're called Amida. So anytime we see a mission involving Kisaragi, at least in this game, we can expect either those weird little flea dudes uh, or their, like, test ACs. Let's see. Let's see if I remember this one. Okay, so this one is on a water level. We can actually go back and use hover legs again. So we got plenty of money, so we'll just go back to the shop and get them real quick. And I'm just going to go for the one with the highest uh, weight allowance. Yeah. Same one as before. So it's probably going to be... Oh no! We can! That's excellent! Tends to be that with hover, you're, you're going to run up on your weight limit real quick. But this one's high enough that we can just put it on and go. Cool. So destroy Kisaragi facility. The way this mission goes, we're going to be dropped down on the platform that you can see in the little picture there. And there's going to be a hover AC moving around in the water coming after us. And the deal with this mission is that technically you're on a time limit. After a certain amount of time, a Mirage is going to start firing missiles at us. And they're going to be, they just sort of spawn a little bit away from you and just come straight at you. So the goal here is we really want to take out that AC as fast as possible. And then we're going to hide under the platform to avoid all of the missiles. So hopefully we can do this fast. If I remember right, he doesn't have very good missile defense. His main thing is like, you just don't want to get up close with him because he'll be able to outmaneuver you and... Oh, oh, here we go. You see, nearly that entire volley hit him, and because of the way that he went off of that platform, we were actually behind him there, so he got wiped. And now all we need to do is hide out under here, and these missiles are going to hit all over the platform. They can come under the platform. You see, one nearly got us there, but they always come from, like, one direction, and if you hang out near one of these pillars, you don't really need to do anything. So, I'm going to have a snack while we wait for this to finish. Someone's playing too. Wanna see? Beer down there. Hopefully that worked. It didn't. Oh well. I probably should get like another monitor. I definitely need a better microphone and a better camera. 
but for various reasons, I can't really do that right now. I guess I could, but I should is the better way to say it. So, you know, normally this mission can be kind of tense because you're fighting the AC while you're also having to dodge these missiles. But if you know what to expect, you can do it just like we did it and just eliminate that guy, hang out under the platforms, and eventually this will end. It is kind of a long sequence. You're good. Oh, so that was simple. Let's see how much that one paid us. It would be kind of silly if we got paid a lot. We did take out an AC, though. That's worth something. So, 130,000. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's see what we got. We can attack an excavation team. We can destroy the resistance force. Let's see what this one is. Oh, okay, this one's pretty straightforward too. Let's change out our legs. We'll want to be a biped again. I, I do like how kind of silly hover legs look. And the fact that it like offsets you in the little preview there. <laughs> there we go. Now we could, with Chirico there, Instead of using Gull, we could switch over to Vulture, which produces a lot less heat, and we'd be able to maintain like being airborne a little longer. I don't feel that there's really a need for it at the moment. We might do it for the final mission, because there there is lots of room to be airborne in that mission. Anyway, so for this one, we're going to land in this canyon. We'll be able to go along the cliffside a little bit, and there are going to be these big carrier helicopters coming through, and one of them is carrying an AC. Now normally, you know, your goal here is to shoot those down, and if you shoot all of them down, then the mission's over. If you can't do that in time, though, they deploy the AC, um, and, and you'd have to do a fight against that. But if we blow up the carrier helicopter while the AC is on it, we don't have to fight him. So this one should be as simple as we just get in the right spot and pull out our missile launcher and shoot some missiles and we're good. Main system. So we'll just hang out on the corner here, turn on our extension, and once that helicopter comes into range, we will just completely obliterate it. Hooray. So then we got these three more, and that's it. That's that's the whole mission. They even get stuck on each other. That's, that's too funny. So you see the little AC fell down and blew up. That's it. We're done. I'm definitely going to make more of that. Ooh, we got a big variety. Let's see. So investigate phenomenon. 
I believe that's the one in the desert with the little pillars and the FCS stuff. We'll see. Clear out Mirage forces. I'm not sure at the filtration plant. I'm sure I remember this one. Ah, okay. This is the one that I got confused about earlier. So we go in, we're meant to destroy a bunch of buildings. There are tiny robots and planes. And then an arena match still. Let's do the build. Well, you've seen that. Let's do the investigate phenomenon. It doesn't pay very well, but again, that's irrelevant to us now. Yeah, so the deal here is we're going to drop straight into the desert. There's going to be a little setup of four little pillars, and we have to destroy those to get rid of the ECM interference. Once we do that, we'll be able to lock on to everything. We can take out all the rest of them. Let's see how this goes. The last time I played this, an AC showed up. Every other time I've played this, there is no AC in this mission. I guess we'll see if we uh, fulfilled the conditions or not. I do like that, but I wish the game was a little more overt about like what you need to do and what could happen. Because it, it does leave you kind of confused. Oh shit, he is here. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid him. There are the pillars. He's shooting at us. Oh, I made a mistake. There's five of them. Another one. Three. Main thing is just don't panic. Keep it together. Alright, so let's see if we can take him out. Cool. He doesn't have very good missile defense. A lot of those are landing. He's also got a machine gun. So if we keep range, he really won't be effective. Oh, how'd you do that? You blew up my entire missile volley. Uh, come on. Gotcha. Okay. Now let's go find those tanks. Thank you. I like the weather change too. That was a cool effect. Totally changes like the mood of the level, I feel. Yeah, fuck you, car. Oh, that's right, we're out. We get some water. Well, so yeah, that, that mission didn't pay well at all. We only got 30000 for it. Okay, we only got one new one. Search for survivors. Okay, this is the precursor to the end game. So in this mission, we're going to go back to that mine, and we're going to go deep down inside it. And you remember, we destroyed the power, so it's all dark. And we're going to find something here that is tied directly into the end of the game. Let's go see what we can discover. And for the most part, there really aren't enemies in this one. It's very much a, a mission that kind of sets you up for things. Get on down in there. We want to go across again. When we get to the next part, we'll be able to go into a little cave bit. We played Armored Core 3, and it's kind of similar to that mission where you show up in the ruins trying to get to the controller. Difference being that it's sort of like, it's almost like we make it to the controller and then we're going to turn right the hell back.
Ooh. Okay, so the deal here is that these are little unmanned suicide drones. And they will charge directly at you and explode. Their explosions do stun. Oh, that's the wrong way. And every way up that wasn't the way we came is wrong. So we just need to go back the way we went. In the hallways, we should be able to avoid them. Sometimes one can get through and get you. But individually, they don't really do enough damage to, to permanently mess you up. You just have to avoid, you, you saw how badly they were stunning me earlier, you just don't want to get caught up in that. If like four or five of them all get you, I, you, you can basically get stuck in place and stun locked to death. In Last Raven, there's a mission that brings these back, where they're raining down from the sky, and you're in like this area where there's a bunch of like lava and stuff. And you have to fight an AC while the unmanned drones are falling down on both of you. That one's really fun, but it's also like, I want to pull my hair out and throw it. Bad. <laughs> cool, so that one paid well. We got about 170,000 for it. Ooh. Eliminate Crest AC. That's Genevieve. So we are going to save that for tomorrow. I'm glad that you joined me again. Let's save our game real quick. Excellent. Cool, simple, straightforward. Just power through some missions, and I think probably by the end of tomorrow's game, uh, we'll be done, if not uh, very, very close to being done. So I think for the episodes that we're doing here, the way that that's going to work is tomorrow we're just going to go until we can get the final mission unlocked, depending on how quickly that takes. We'll switch over to disc two, and I'll show you some of that, and then we'll do the last mission probably on Sunday. And then that'll be it, and we'll be done. So. As always, thank you for joining me. I appreciate your company. I, am, I love you. Tell your friends that you love them too.